Welcome back, guys. Slavic Neil. Welcome back to episode number two of Green Hell, uh, Amazon Survival. We've moved, boys. We have moved. So, our other base is over that way. I was coming out this way just, you know, looking for some stuff, looking for some foods and things. And I came across this puppy. Come over this hill, right? Ah, oh, it would have been real good if you started this episode at the top of the hill. Then you could have looked down and you would have been like, Oh, that's so pretty. I know the YouTube video just does not do it justice. I'm going to stand here. Hopefully it'll capture the awesomeness. I can't hide my UI. As far as I know, I can't anyway. Hopefully it captures the prettiness of the space. Now you might see down there also in that water, there is a heck of a lot of fish. And they're real easy to catch too. Well, so far they're real easy to catch anyway. Um, see, I haven't actually fully finished my base. Or your yeah, base. Oh, there's a bird over there. All right, now the rain, main reason why I'm oh damn it! <laughs> I gotta try my spirit. The main reason I made this episode was because I had some feedback from Peter something. I'm sorry. Oh yes, you can. Okay. Uh, first one was you can throw spears, which obviously we just did. I was gonna try and throw it at that bird. If I can kill a bird, I can make arrows. If I can make arrows, I'm sure I can make a bow somehow. Um, he also said you don't need to find recipes to make things, you can just discover them. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, well, what do you need for a bow? What, what's a primitive bow made out of, right? Wood and string. Surely, right? Surely that's what it's made out of. Um, so we need a big thing like we've got here, big stick, and some string. I'm sure that would make a bow. Uh, we'll try that in a minute. I do want to get this bird. Oh, fuck it, we're not going to get a bird. Um, yeah, there's so much fish and stuff here, as you can see, there's heaps of it. Um, Catch one. I tell you, boys. I tell you. Slight is becoming a... Oh, man, I thought that landed on my heart. Slight is becoming a master of the spearfish. Um, there is a... Th I didn't actually want to throw that one. Um, there is a thing... Where are we? Uh, over here? I think so. Yep. So this is uh, basically your levels as far as skills and stuff go. So crafting are up to 10. Fire starting are up to 7. Cooking are up to 13. Uh, throwing obviously zero, archery zero, harvesting zero. Where's my spear fishing? Up to ten. Reduces aiming time, increases attack speed. Nice. I don't know if it actually pertains to this spear um, in particular. It's not actually a spear fishing thing. Oh, where's that stingray? Thank you. Now the other thing I don't know, of course, because I don't know anything, because we just started playing, um, is whether these fish actually replenish. I'm not sure. Uh, basically what I'm going to try and do, you can see down in that bottom left hand corner, um, you can see obviously the uh, hourglass, the the watch thing, and the watch thing is saying you need to look at that. Uh, basically got no cars, no water, no fats. Um, and beside that is parasites. <gasps> oh mate, you've just got to take the shot I think, you've just got to take the shot. Can I throw that into the water? <laughs> you can. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, harvest that. Uh, yeah, so basically I'm, I'm covered in parasites because I've been drinking this water down here. May look beautiful, but it ain't safe. Oh no, can I pick my stick up? There you go. Um, I feel like I'm going to need two of these. I need it to stop raining so I can start that fire so I can um, harvest this fish. Let's harvest, uh, cook the fish, I should say. And then we basically need to go on a little journey, see if I can find some mushies to fix this, which is our parasites again. What's that? Stingray sting. Mm -hmm. So this is about... I'd say about two hours on from where we left off last time. Um, so a wee while. Uh, but like I said, I haven't really done anything. I just kind of walked around and I found this place and then I started to set up a base and that kind of took ages. I bought this one. So there's this bigger one here and then I've got a bed underneath. Which is kind of cool. And obviously we've got a fireplace. I built there, but then I couldn't build the surround for it out here, so I had to build it over here. So I've redone really the fire. As you can see, it's actually got a surround on it, which is quite nice. Um, the other thing is if your food hits zero, so that top line, uh, you do actually die. I better eat some bananas to stop that. Yeah, you do actually, you just die. So, I mean, that's good to know, right? Um, bananas come from these things here, obviously. Bananas. Ugh, get it there. Nice. Oh, stop raining. Right. Um, I don't know if I actually got enough... Stammer and stuff left to actually start this fire. Please. Uh, tinder. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go for a sleep for a little bit. I've noticed that I've just. Oh, it did. Nice. I've noticed that I've ruined my sleep time uh, just by going and having little sleeps at silly times. 
Um, so basically during the day I'm not really awake for that often. Um, now what I found is, see so you can't put things, get out of there, that's a cook, don't eat that one. Um, there is multiple spots to put food and stuff, but if you put it on here it doesn't seem to cook. I don't know if, like, if you're supposed to put pots on there, or what are you supposed to put on there. Um, dude also said, Peter, Mr. Peter, thank you Peter for your feedback by the way, muchly appreciated. Um, also said, the coconuts that we found over there, you just need to hit them, and then they turn into like normal coconuts, you can actually drink them and stuff like that. So we'll do that as well, uh, once we get over there. Uh, he's also said, small shelters and frames with roof pr protection, protect the fire like we found out in the last episode. Um, we can also collect rain. By doing that. I'm not sure how. I've seen a, try and, a container of some description chuck that on the roof, I guess, maybe. Uh, we haven't done that yet because I haven't finished that. Probably, well, I'll probably do that sometime during this episode. Honestly, I literally just finished work. Well, finished work like 10 minutes ago. Came home, scoffed down as much food as I can, as fast as I could. <laughs> I was like, Bleh. And I like burnt that inside of my mouth and all sorts of stuff. Got a coffee sitting beside me. Uh, we'll be drinking. Uh, I'll try and edit all that stuff out, though. Um, yeah. I was like, oh man, I just really want to play. And I haven't felt that way about a game for a long time. Uh, now the fact that we've got so many parasites means our food thing goes down really fast. We kind of need more food than that. Um, nope. yeah. Got him. Harvest this. Oh, what's that temperature thing? <gasps> it's too cold. I haven't seen that before. Can I get out of the water? Go near the fire? Warm up? Is it because it's getting dark? Maybe. Oh, wound. Oh god. It doesn't sound healthy, does it? Um, that one, this one. What do we got? Good on that one. Good on there. Good on there. Oh, I see. Oh, what happened? Eat. Eat. Cool start, Sly. Are they the anti-parasite ones? Not actually sure. No, okay. We'll eat those anyway because it's going to give us. <gasps> Fuck a dude over there! Oh, that scared me. Oh man, um. Okay, so. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How hostile are those guys to us? I assume the fact that it's a game, they're not very friendly? Oh, mate. Alright, this is like the second one I've ever seen. Both times I've kind of like run away. <laughs> I don't know. There's no freaking bird, mate. Oh, crap. Run. Oh, could you? Ooh, run! Told you that was no bird. Oh, crap. Okay, they're not friendly. Get out of here. Oh my god, he threw a rock at me! Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Did you save Sly? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, crap, where'd he go? Run. <laughs> I can't really run, I've got no energy or anything. Um, I've been hurt. Yep. Um, tabby tab, I did make some bandages, right? Yes, I did. Oh god, I'm almost dead. My food's run out anyway. Uh, eat. I know that's not really what I need to be eating right now, but I don't really have a choice. Eat. Um, probably more hurt. Yes, obviously. Not there. I don't know if I have any more bandages, honestly. Uh, leeches, get out. No, that's all hurts. Because the wee hourglass thing went away. Oh my god, okay. My health is still not good. Cheapest. Okay, I need more, um... I need more food. I see, I don't even know if crouching makes me hidden. Is that a dude up there? Huh? It is. Oh Christ. Jesus mate, that scared me. 
Should we try and kill him? We should, right? Where is he? Can definitely hear him. Here he is. Oh, there's two. Oh, that was... I had him. I had him. Hit him too. Okay. Okay, okay. Come on, big fella. Oh, hit him again. Oh, <laughs> I hit that other dude with two spears. Okay. Don't know if we should be going. What the crap is that? Fever? Is that from that? Oh man, I'm so dead. I think that scorpion stung me. They don't move. Kill that one. I think that dude. Uh. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> that wasn't good. Oh, I'm so dead. I think the other scorpion stung me. Let's get that. Jesus, I mean, there's no way we can heal past this, right? Stop admiring yourself. We need to see what other scratches and stuff we've got. My god. And this is actually pretty cool. I think I said before that, you know, these outside things didn't really seem to do anything, but. From what I can see, because we've had this fire going for a little while, it's like heated up the outside stones, which now that you can cook on them. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. This game's so in-depth. Um, in places. Ah, uh, yeah, we still need more health. Oh, I ate that raw food. Oh, that's wrong. Look at those lemon... 11 parasites. God mighty. We drop these ants into the fire. What will that do? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> right. I need to go. I've I've got no health, but these parasites are kicking my butt. Oh my god, boys! Finally found some mushrooms that kill parasites. Ah! <laughs> uh, it took me an hour, fifty-nine minutes. And 59 seconds to be exact to find a few parasites that um a few mushrooms that kill parasites yeah, yeah. yes that is my old base too we have come up this way obviously we died to that jaguar just before this is where the guys were last time um an armadillo thing there too. Let's kill that. Okay, it's not exactly accurate. Kill it. Yep. Man, I'm so nervous. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Was that your mum? <laughs> Oops. That's awkward. No space? For what? For bones. Uh, that's the meat. Yeah, that's bones, bones. What else did... What else did he drop? Just bones? That redness was too big of a flash. I couldn't see it all. Oh, where's this other camp of mine? Uh, there. God, 
I had no energy at all. I have to go for a little snooze. That'll do. Get that meat on there. Oh, that's going to be some good eating, I'd say. Huh. What are you doing, palm leaf? Ah, why is all this stuff on my fire? Yep. Right, can I, can I, where's my tools gone? What? What? Oh, that's, that was a graphical bug, right? Phew. Man, that'll suck. Man, I need some more wood. I think I'm putting a little logs on there. Um, I'm really gonna chop down a giant tree, it'll take forever. Or maybe not with me new axe. It's a good point. Do the villagers attack? Oh. <gasps> These are the ones I need. These get rid of parasites. Oh, I totally just seen those out of the corner of my eye. Get that raw meat away from me because I'll totally click on that for mistake. Oh, they're hidden amongst all these other ones. There you go. No more parasites, lads. God, that only took forever. Ah, um, wood. Right. There's a big log there. We'll take that. Yeah, do the villagers like attack this type of thing? Like a little settlement. I don't know. Oh, Cooking with gas now, boys. God, I thought there was a spider. Jesus, this scared me. Right, how much is this worth? 68 protein, 20 fat, and 15 energy. Holy mother. Oh, yeah. Give me some of that, boys. Ah, uh, probably water. How are we looking? Let's have a look. Yeah, water's our only concern. Ah, uh, well, I think. Clean water, drinkable. Nice, 10 hydration, 10 hydration, lads. Some more bowls down there, not you. No, not on top of it. There. Yeah. Well, there's four bowls there, that's good. Oh, cane tote. Reset that trap. Nice. Can I not pick up that plank, though? No space. I don't know what that does, this thing. Oh, I've got two cantos here. Harvest. Harvest. How's our water situation looking? We're good, we're good. Safe. Well, how full are these things now? Clean, clean. Oh, that only shows up if we... Oh, let's see. So we take that. It's got 30 hydration now. 35. 40 hydration, so I can drink this one. Sweet. Oh, they only had six in them anyway. So each one of those is 10, so it's 40 hydration. That's not a massive amount. It's, it's okay, I suppose. Right, um, I'm going to wrap this up here, boys. I think we did really well. Obviously, we're in much better state than what we were when we started. Uh, so we got a wee bit of food. I mean, like I say, if we could get another capybara or something like that in the morning, that'd be awesome. Um, on the way back to our other, to our other base, that'd be really good. Uh, sweet. All right, guys. Hope we've enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Um, I should say also, if you want to give me some tips or pointers, please do, because <laughs> I'm just learning this game, boys. And if you guys know things that I don't know, let me know in the comment section down below, and we'll explore them in the next episode. All right, boys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.